Good morning and uh, it's the Learn English Network here on live chat. Um, it's been two weeks so I might be a bit busy to do a hi to everybody who's written hi. So <laughs> everybody who wrote hi or hello, hello to you, how are you? Try to write something a bit more and then we'll respond. We will respond. Um, Zeb is kindly uh, involved in responding to. So a big thanks to Zeb. And um, I love reading your posts, Zeb. They always make me laugh. <laughs> and joe has been responding as well. Uh, joe if you've been to any of my Skype sessions, you've probably met Joe. And uh, it's really nice to see these guys uh, participating in this as well. They haven't been asked to, they've just done it voluntarily. Um, last week was National Volunteers Week. I was on holiday, but you know what I think of you guys, you are fantastic. Um, we've had quite a bit of action uh, this week and last week on the Discuss pages. So let's have a look. Um, at one of the exciting things was somebody actually used the lessons properly. <laughs> um, the first five lessons on the LEO site now have Discuss options and um, we're going to move away from the corrections made on the forum um, and do this live kind of within the lessons. Um, it will so, sort of save people having to go to another thing and join another thing um, if they don't want to. The main forum will still carry on as usual and um, if we run out of discussions that's where I normally go to. So um, the person who uh, sort of responded properly um, was called Aroldo and uh, this is what Aroldo wrote. Um, so let me just check. Uh, Hi there Lynn, my name is Aroldo and I'm from Brazil. Which the capital is Brasilia? Our native language is Portuguese. Now I'm going to read this as he wrote it, then I will read you my correction. There are many famous people from Brazil, such as Giselle Bunchen, <laughs> Pele, Adriana Lima, but my favourite, it's definitely Ronald, Ronaldinho Gaucho, who is the star of the team that I support, Atletico Mineiro, and without a doubt, one of the best football pay players ever stepped on a pitch. And I think this is the best website online with the purpose of learning English, even though I just found out about it a couple of days ago. I think it's amazing what you've done here. I just can't thank you enough. Well done. I love getting well done. I really do. <laughs> so um, my reply and here's you can read this on the lesson. It's on uh, lesson three, people, places, nationality and the question where. And my reply was, Hi Aroldo, welcome and well done you, you got the idea. Thank you for the kind words, but without people like you, the sites would be pretty ordinary. Here's your correction. Hi there Lynn, my name is Aroldo and I'm from Brazil. The capital city is Brasilia and our native language is Portuguese. There are many famous people from Brazil, such as Giselle Bunchen, Pele, Adriana Lima, etc. But my favourite is definitely Ronaldinho Gaucho, who is the star of the football team that I support, Atletico Mineiro, and without a doubt one of the best football players ever to have stepped on a pitch. I think this is the best English learning website online, even though I only found out about it a couple of days ago. I think it's amazing what you've done here. I just can't thank you enough. Well done. And I gave him a little note, which is that all names, which are proper nouns, should be capitalised, especially if you're writing a formal letter or taking an English test. <laughs> So I don't like to bang on about capitalisation, but um, when you capitalise a few names and not all of them, imagine if you're sitting a test and you lose a point for that. It's it's something you've, you've got to get the habit of. You automatically write people's names with a capital letter and um, it could save your marks. So um, we've had a couple of replies to um, people who'd already written. Um, Benzie wrote, I love you website. <laughs> I think he meant I love your website. Uh, and I replied, well, that's nice, Benzie. Where do you come from? So if you're going to post in the lesson lessons and you want a correction, stick to the lesson topic. Otherwise, you won't get a correction. You might just get a sarcastic reply. 
<laughs> and then we had, hi, I'm Danin. I would like to study by it. Mm. Um, my reply was, hi, Darren. L th welcome to our little, little discussion. Here's your correction. Hi, I'm Danin. I would like to study here. Work on your capitalization. Yes, those little capital letters or big capital letters as it is. And then um, somebody called Mannix wrote, I need a testy for right and luck my level. Ooh, um, stick to the topic. Okay, if you can't reply, hello, my name is um, Mannix, then yeah, maybe you need to go right back to the basics um, because that was just nonsense sentence. I'm so sorry to say this, but hi Mannix, what kind of test are you looking for? We have a couple of level tests on the um, learnenglish.de website. So I wasn't really certain what you were looking for, Mannix, but he's not replied to me, so well, I can't do anything, can I? Uh, then somebody called Khalil wrote to Danin <laughs> and wrote, hi Danin, how are you? Can you help me please? Um, okay, Danin was coming to look for help, so it's nice. I do believe in peer learning. My reply to Khalil was, I think Danin came here to look for help, but hey, you can always help each other. I'm a great believer in peer learning. And I am. I really do think you guys can learn from each other. And especially if you've got a little bit of support from somebody like me. Okay. And that was the Learn English Online. Um, as I said, there's only five lessons at the moment. I don't think people have, I know people are visiting. I get the visitor numbers, but I don't think think people have really got it yet. And it's just like the Learn English Online Forum. You write a reply related to the topic and I will correct your English and, if I have time, read it out in live chat. Um, so it's all good, uh, but yeah, try to stick to the topic. <laughs> it's like walking into a geography lesson and starting talking about, I don't know, the biology of the mouse. <laughs> not really relevant. Anyway, it's all good. So, um, what's been happening on the Learn English Network live chat? Uh, lots of um, interesting little topics and um, I've replied to most of them, but not all. Uh, and it's been quite busy. So again, I'm going to ignore the highs and uh, I'm going to try to read it direct from the Learn English live chat, which might be interesting um, because as this gets busier, I've noticed it's not as easy to follow it on Discuss's uh, channels itself. So bear with me whilst I tootle down and load more comments. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get two weeks in, um, but um, we will we'll see. So I think I'll start with seven days ago. And as I say, I haven't replied to everybody from when I was on holiday. I will get round to it, honestly. I, my motto, as you know, and the motto of the Learn English Network is we do what we can when we can. We're a small group. There's not that many of us. I had hoped there'd be more. <laughs> I thought all oh, native English speakers will flock and come and help out. Uh, it didn't happen, but there are a few of us who are very committed, uh, but it does take us time to get round to everybody. So Kikalala wrote, hi, I'm newbie here and my English very not that good. It's worst. Oh, what's the best way to learn English? Okay. Hi, I'm a newbie here and my English is not very good. Um, it's getting worse, maybe. It's worst, that's the superlative. So it's the worst English you've ever heard. I doubt it, Kikalala. I have heard some pretty bad English in my time. So <laughs> uh, what is the best way to learn English? The best way to learn English is what works for you, okay? And the only way you will find that out is by trying different methods. And the nice thing about the internet is all those methods and methodologies and ways of learning and ways of teaching, they're all on the line now. So um, I would say from looking at your reply, maybe go to the lessons, have a go at replying in a structured way um, to the questions, look at the examples, look at the pages um, with all the nice pretty pictures that I've put up and and work on getting the basics right and then expand into um, the main forum or maybe Google Hangouts. On Google Hangouts you can 
search around for other people to talk to, not necessarily ESL learning, uh, but there are lots of English teachers doing free Google Hangouts at the moment. So get in there whilst they're still doing them for free. And there's me, of course. You can always join one of our Hangouts. It might be a little advanced. If you're a beginner, try getting into Second Life. Come to our Wednesday beginner sessions, which will start today in two hours and 20 minutes. I haven't done much, pre much preparation for it. Naughty teacher. So um, then Kin asked, have you ever translated some e-economic document? Uh, from what to what is what I've asked. I mean, um, translated from what language to what language? Uh, Kin, I think you must come from Asia. So is it from an Asian language? No way, I don't speak Asian. From German? Yeah, I have actually, but uh, we won't go into that too much. Uh, German to English. I would never translate from English to German, by the way. Then lots of guests and people, Jordan, Peter, etc. Kokilavani uh, wrote, hello, how are you? <laughs> Can you guide me how to speak and written English language very well? Okay, hello, how are you? Can you guide me in how to speak and write English very well? When you write English, English is a language, so you don't really have to write language. It's right, like writing, my car is a black colour. Um, black is a colour, you don't need to write black colour. English is a language, you don't need to write English language. You can just write and written English or spoken English, okay? Um, and my tip to Koki Lavani was to look at our tips, honestly. We've been doing this for a long time. We've written a lot of tips. And again, not all of them will work for you. You have to find out what works for you. So um, I wrote to Koki Lavani, have a look at some of our tips and tell us what you already do. So when you're writing in to discuss, say, I want to improve my spoken English. I don't ever speak English. <laughs> I never speak English. I don't have ever have or I want to improve my spoken English. I go to English lessons once a week or I go to Google Hangouts or I chat with friends on Skype. Tell us what you already do and then we can say, OK, well, you're doing that. Why don't you do this? Why don't you expand that into Hangouts or Skype or Facebook or other social networking sites? Go into PalTalk, go to iVisit. You know, we do know where these places are. We can guide you. But if you don't tell us what you already do, we'll, we might tell you to do what you already do. So I tend to only reply specifically to people who are a bit more, give a bit more information. So, um, and here, here's one. Sim, oh gosh, Sim, Siamsel, Siamsel Hardy wrote, hello, I'm Siamsel Hardy. I want to study English language. Again, I want to study English. Wanna is okay. I don't mind. Don't do it in a test. <laughs> Your English teacher would have an epileptic fit. <laughs> so Zeb replied, have you already started to study it, the English language? I think that was sarcasm. Um, and Simsel wrote, yes, thank you. Zeb then said, do you find it easy studying it? When I started to get into it, I seemed to make fast progress. Then the more I was learning it, the harder it became. English is a tough language to me. Um, English is a tough language for me. Um, and I wrote, it's funny you say that, Zeb. You can make lots of progress early on in English, but you're right. The more you learn, the more difficult it becomes. I think it's how so many people offer quick solutions because they aren't in it for the long haul of really learning the language. And then Simsel said, exec, exquali, oh my, I think he meant exactly, or she, I don't know, exactly how to improve my English here, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, one question mark, guys. I'm, six question marks doesn't make it more of a question, honestly. It makes it a bit rude, actually. Um, and Zeb wrote, what do you want to improve in your English? Again, be specific. Yeah, don't be lazy. I want to improve my English. Yeah, don't we all? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, how do you improve your English at the moment? What tips have you tried? What works for you? What doesn't work for you? Give us information. We will help you. And how do you learn English here? You contact us. You can you communicate with us. You come to our hangouts. You come to second live sessions. You join us in Skype. You join us on the forum. I mean, you know, it's all there, and you need to explore. Think of the network as landing in uh, a different country. You don't just stand there waiting for your mum and dad to pick you up. You're adults, I hope. <laughs> no kids, please. You're adults. You don't just stand there waiting for somebody to take you by the hand and lead you to the promised land. <laughs> 
doesn't happen. You've got to take responsibility for your own learning and we will help you. Okay, so Tina then, I didn't get a sudden reply from this website. Is this useful? Question mark, question mark. Hmm, yeah, okay, one. I need to improve my English. I want to speak English fluently. Again, don't we all? So, what do you do to do that? Zeb wrote, hi, what do you think is missing for it to be useful? And I wrote, instant reply by the look of it, Zeb. That was sarcasm, by the way. Tina, I always dreamt that one day there would be enough of us to cover the forum, the social networking sites, etc. 24-7. Until then, you're stuck with us. Don't expect instant replies, uh, even though it says live chat. You can chat with each other live. You can chat with me live on a Wednesday morning. Uh, but otherwise, we do reply to you, yeah? Uh, but don't expect instantaneous. We're not being paid. We're not here as your teachers. We're here to help you learn, okay? And there is a difference. If you come to one of our sessions, you will get an instant reply because we are actually there to reply to you. Okay, I don't sit at the computer all day waiting for your uh, messages. Then Nandana wrote, hello everyone, can anyone please help me to correct this sentence? I feel good to have enjoyed those good old rainy days to the best I ever could have, though I never knew then that those moments were going to be cherished forever. Ooh, <laughs> I I got what you were meaning. So that's the main point of communication, Nandana. So well done. And I wrote, um, as Zeb wrote, I'll give it a try, but don't be too harsh on me if I haven't conveyed what you want to express. Lynn will probably have a look at it when she's around again. Anyway, here I go. I feel good that I enjoyed these good old rainy days the best I ever could, even though I didn't know by then that I would cherish them forever. Okay, that's not bad. I, I kind of worked with that and made it into... I felt good having enjoyed those good old rainy days to the best of my ability, even though I didn't know back then that I would cherish them forever. Okay, and I read it from Nandana's first uh, sentence that it would be in the past. I felt good uh, and I, I had enjoyed those good old rainy days to the best of my ability. And it's that back then, even though I didn't know back then yeah, I never knew. It sounds like it's all in the past. So I changed everything to reflect the past. If you start in the past, you've got to stay in the past unless you bring the reader abruptly to the present. Yeah, you've got to keep the tenses logical. So look at your sentences and write, maybe write out a little um, timeline. When are, you, when are you talking about? Now, the future, the past? Make sure that it's logical, okay? But it was a nice, a nice sentence, Nandana. I'd love to know a little bit more, so do reply. Lots and lots of hellos from Koki, and then Raj Singh. Hello, hello, hi, oh gosh, hello everybody. I'm Raj Singh from Mumbai, India. I'm a law student, and I like to make new friends. Good. I can, I hope I can find a lot of friend over here. Ooh, that sounds like you're chopping them into bits. <laughs> A lot of friends, I hope, is what I replied. A lot of friends could be scary, absolutely. And then Trendra Chohan wrote, Hi, I'm Trendra from India and I want to join all of you for improving my English in all direction, read, write and oral. I wrote, Hi Trendra, what do you do to improve your English at the moment? I didn't I didn't correct it. I'm not going to correct them all, but I, I will try to correct them here. Uh, it should have been, Hi, I'm Trendra from India and I want to join all of you to improve my English in in every way, reading, writing, and speaking. Okay, and Kujin, how do you how do you pronounce a word without any um, vowels in it? R J N. How do you pronounce that? Oh, come to one of our voice sessions and tell me. I'd love to know. Rujin. Hi, nice to meet you. Can I find someone help me to learn writing? I'm writing very bad. And I wrote, well, we'd prefer it if you learnt how to write. <laughs> well, that was sarcastic. I must have been in a bad mood. I'm so sorry, Ku. So, can I find someone to help me to learn how to write? My writing is very bad, okay? I'm writing very bad means that's what I'm doing at the moment. You might be doing it deliberately. <laughs> uh, my writing is very bad. That's the state of your writing, the permanent, unfortunate state. So, uh, that's why I corrected. Uh, that's why I'm correcting that. Okay, then Ricky Ponting. Yay, good day, mate. <laughs> I love I love the names people choose. And maybe it is Ricky Ponting, but I don't think he'd come to me to improve his English. Hi, everybody. I'm new to this site. Want to learn English? Please help. Zeb wrote, hi again. Um, 
Uh, if you want to keep going with the conversation, I'm all in. Is that the kind of help you're looking for? And then I wrote, uh, I sometimes wonder if people panic when they get a reply. Zeb wrote, I get nervous every time I've got the mic. I also feel very happy with myself afterwards. <laughs> and I wrote, it doesn't come across that you're nervous, Zeb. You always sound very confident. That's from our voice sessions. OK, that's not from Discuss. This is a text message, <laughs> messaging service. So uh, our voice sessions, Zeb occasionally joins us not as often as she used to but her English um, doesn't really need that much guidance anymore as you might have noticed and so uh, she's a freewheeler now um, hopefully Zeb you do do something online talking chatting uh, but I'm not sure where you go to now let us know so Ricky didn't reply if you're going to start a discussion in discuss it's discussion it's not just a blurb and then you you leave and you know you want to improve your English stick at it <laughs> Um, okay, then Ricky did. Oh no, Ricky did reply. I need someone who can. I need some who can help me learn English fluently. Okay, I need someone who can help me learn English fluently. And again, Zeb, what are you looking for exactly? What do you expect from this someone? So, again, we need to know more. Give us more information. Uh, hi, Linda, Dara, MD, Tarkan. Hi, I'm bad at English, but I want to learn English. Good. We want to help you learn English. So I, I wrote to Tarkan, try to avoid saying you're bad at English. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm bad at English. <laughs> it's like when you're talking to children and they're being naughty. You don't say to them, you're so naughty. That's not their permanent state. Um, you say, stop being naughty now. Yeah. And it's the same with learning English. Yeah, you're bad at English now, but it's going to get better. So you're learning English. Don't say I'm bad at English. You're not really. You're just learning it. I'm struggling with my English, maybe. But bad, you're not going to be permanently bad at English. You're just learning. So give yourself a break. Use that. Avo avoid that. And think about how you can improve your English. Think about what you're doing. Look back at your old work. It's a real boost to your confidence sometimes. You think, oh God, I was so rubbish then. I'm much better now. <laughs> I do that with my German all the time. Oh, I've got another one. Srinivasaro Viravarupu. Oh, again, I'd love to speak to you guys so you could tell me how to pronounce your names. I would like to improve English speaking. And again, I've written, what do you do to practice your spoken English at the moment? OK, Linda. This is a good one. She hasn't replied back again, though, but never mind. Hello, Lynn Han. Nice to meet you. Excuse me for my bad English. It's really good so far. I don't use this site very well. I don't understand like work it. Mm, not so good. Can I write you sometimes? I hope to learn English and this place to help me. Where do you live? How old are you? Are you married? <laughs> are you chatting me up? Okay, try to avoid the ASL, age, sex, location, marital status and all that. It's it's a real off, it's a real off putter to some people. Yeah. What does it matter? You just want to learn English. Does it matter if I'm I'm not going to marry you. Sorry. <laughs> hey, my reply was, hi, Linda. What are you apologising for? Your English looks fine to me. Really good, actually. The feature on the site is quite new and we're hoping to expand it. Anytime to want, you want to write here, you are welcome to. I'm a Brit who lives in Germany. I'm very old and married. I always say I'm as old as my tongue and a little bit older than my teeth. You can learn about me on my blog. If you, if you really want to, you can look at my blog and have a look at who I am, what I do, but that's it. Um, so I don't use this site very well. I don't understand like work. It should be. Uh, I don't use, I don't understand how to use this site. That's it. Yeah. Just use it. Explore it. Fiddle around with it. Ask us if there's something you see that's missing. Ask us to put it in. We might just do it. Um, then Kishab wrote, hi, it's me, Kishab. Hey, hi, Kishab. I want to learn the speak English, but how? And again, Zeb, do you want to sometimes, do you sometimes speak English with your friends who are learning the language too? Yeah, let us know what you do now. Um, then Lisa wrote, hi everyone, I'm from Georgia and want to speak English better. Can you tell me how I can, how can I study easy? And I again pointed you at the tips. Read the tips. Tell us what you do, not what you want to do. Lisa wrote, uh, Zeb wrote to Lisa, if you feel confident enough to speak and interact in English with others, then I think the easiest way is to turn most of your activities and hobbies in English. OK, um, turn most of your activities and hobbies into English. For example, I work a lot with the computer. All the software search engine parameters on my computer are set up in English. I so admire Zeb, you know, I tried that with German. It drove me nuts. <laughs> 
Also, when I have a question related to technology or robots, I ask online in English, not French, my native language. It's easy because you apply English to something you like to do. The tough part is to accept that you'll be slower doing it, uh, that you'll be slower doing it in English in the beginning, at the beginning. In the beginning, at the beginning. Maybe both is correct, but I'd say at the beginning. Or at the start. Okay. Uh, Lisa wrote, Yay, well done, Lisa. You actually replied. Thanks for this advice. When I read some article, I understand most of it, but it's difficult to understand English speak about this issue. What can I do? Thanks for this advice. When I read some articles, I understand most of it, but it's difficult to understand spoken English. What can I do about this issue? Okay. Uh, Zeb wrote, I've got the same difficulty tuning my ear to different accents and speaking styles. Something that has been working for me and I still love doing is to listen to short video clips, one to two minutes long, which have a transcript. I listen to it and transcribe it myself. Then I check my transcription and record myself reading it out loud. In my case, I enjoy doing this with National Geographic's, oh, by the way, National Geographic should be capitalised, world's deadliest animal video clips. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I like wildlife and in these videos the audio comments are often awesome. Yay! Here's one clip as an example. Shrew versus snake. And Lisa, thank you so much for replying. Lisa actually replied, thank you. It's manners, people, yeah? If somebody helps you, say thank you. Then they might help you again. Yeah, it's a good tip. And Zeb replied, you're welcome. You can do this. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. <laughs> it could go on forever. And I wrote, that's good advice, Zeb. And it's good fun to do it as a group. Okay, learning together is more fun than learning alone. If you find the right people to learn with. And that's about getting out there, getting online, meeting people online. We did a few on the for on the forum, but people seem to give up. I've thought about running some Hangouts on Google Plus where everyone can have a go. What do you think? <laughs> it's me asking the student. And that's what I do a lot, by the way. You guys inspire me. By the way, don't use auto captions in YouTube. Just don't do it. Have you ever tried it? I thought I had a reasonably clear speaking voice, but it has hilarious results. Honestly, I couldn't believe what it came up with. The technology is not quite there, guys. Even Google can't do it. Um, Zeb wrote in G Hangouts, people's attempts and laugh will be confined to the live session only no traces are for towards right yeah i don't i don't stream the ones where i show the videos if so it'll work far better than on the forum i made a couple of videos in french to help a mate get his french words i had a look at the auto captions feature conclusion my french speaking voice is no better than yours <laughs> I'm sure the technology will be great one day and I can retire. But until then, there you go. So um, that's as far as I've replied to everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you've heard yourself on Discuss, uh, if you've heard yourself on this session and uh, you link it to what you wrote on Discuss, yeah, don't take any corrections personally. Well, take them personally, but don't don't go, oh, no, I made a mistake. I, yes, I, if I can correct you, it means I've understood you. If I've understood you, it means you've communicated. If you've communicated, that's it. That's what you're here to do. You're not here to to, to um, be perfect in English instantaneously. You're here to make continuous bits of improvement. That comes with feedback. That comes with correction. And that comes with interacting. And when you interact, you know, ah, just keep going at it. Yep. Um, don't expect on Discuss that we'll be there chatting live eat automatically. And uh, Raman Ujan, just to end, wrote, Hi friends, what's going on nowadays? Okay, it's nowadays. So you say, hi friends, it's, that's good. Uh, what's going on nowadays? Nowadays, yeah. And I wrote, same old, same old. <laughs> So I hope you don't mind that I wrote that. That just means nothing's changed. Yeah, we're still here. We're still doing this. So nothing new is happening. And uh, you can reply that. Hey, what's going on? Ah, same old, same old. What are you doing? Same old, same old. <laughs> It's a much better way of saying, well, nothing has changed since we last spoke. <laughs> OK, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's session. Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully we'll see you on Discuss. We'll see you on the forum. Maybe we'll see you in a Google Hangout, in a Skype session or in Second Life or Kitely. Don't forget Kitely. Quiz night tomorrow night on Kitely. And uh, whatever you're doing, um, have fun doing it. OK, English is a great language to learn. It's so much fun to learn. And uh, if you don't believe me, try learning German. <laughs>
<laughs> but you've got to have fun doing it. And that means your kind of fun. You find what works for you. Don't let anybody else tell you how you should do it. You know how to do it. You're a learner. You're not a, you're not a student or pupil anymore. You're an adult. You're a learner. You know how to learn. Just do it. Yeah. And uh, don't get too stuck on getting everything correct first time. Okay, it's all good, as I often say. <laughs> okay, nice ta- chatting to you all, not with you all, but to you all. And hopefully, yeah, I'll see you around and uh, you'll listen again next week. Take care. Bye. Oh, and what's my sign off? Um, and remember, be nice, be kind. And if you can't be good, don't get taught. Was it? Be nice, be kind, and if you can't be good, don't get caught. That's it. I must write that down. (laughs) Take care. Bye.